So I saw a lot of high profile movies at TIFF. You know, I saw The Fablemans, I saw The Whale, I saw Glass Onion, and I never would have guessed that one of my favorites from the festival would be The Menu. From director Mark Milode, who you might recognize from directing a lot of Succession episodes, this movie was just a blast, and it was legitimately one of the most talked about movies at the festival. The talk around it was either, oh my gosh, I love the menu, or, oh my gosh, I can't believe how much I like the menu, or, oh man, I haven't seen the menu, but everyone's telling me to go watch it because it's great, and it's all facts. And I'm not talking about just my little circle of people that I was with, I'm talking on Twitter, and even just throughout, like, multiple critics just continually praising the menu. This movie is another great example of genre mixing, just the balancing of two tones was perfect. It's intense and suspenseful like a thriller should be while also having that element of like, what the hell is happening? What the hell is going on? And also, it's fucking hilarious. This movie is so funny. <laughs> the crowd I was with was eating it up and it was at a press and industry crowd. It wasn't like a premiere or anything. Everyone was just eating it up. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. It's able to juggle those tones so easily and so seamlessly. I mean, how many movies have we gone through where it has those two tones of serious and funny and it's almost like jarring when it switches from one to the other? How many poor movies have we seen like that? This is not one of those and that goes to a great script and great performances. This is one of the better scripts of the year for me and it actually tackles a decent amount. Along with balancing those tones, which is hard enough, it actually talks a lot about pretentiousness, which I just think is great, you know, as film people, I think we know a lot about pretentiousness. And it actually talks about pretentiousness from both sides. You know how sometimes there'll be a movie that you just defend to the bone even though you know that most general audiences will not like it and you know that they'll probably find it boring, but you talk about how it's art and how it's deep and they don't get it and you start talking about some of the smaller details and you start coming off as pretentious. And on the other side of that, sometimes you hear and see a movie that's been praised as high art and you watch it and you're like, man, this is boring as shit, not good, not entertaining, don't wanna watch, go away. That's kind of what they address in here, but with fine dining. Because I think stereotypically fine dining, you know, small portions, a little garnish on top, insanely expensive. Some look at that and they see its beauty and they see that it's art and it's storytelling. And other people look at that and they're like, bruh, that's not dinner. I'm trying to eat. I'm not trying to spend all this money and still be hungry afterwards. That message was delivered to me perfectly along once again with the balancing of tones, which is great. And the performances are just awesome. I mean, really the whole cast works, but I mean, we got to talk about Anya Taylor-Joy. Just a delightful screen presence, just a star, just good in like everything she does now. And she's a great heroine because she's really the person that the audience is kind of seeing how everything is going on through, you know? Like she's the one person who's like, what the hell is like going on here? She catches on first. And Ray Fiennes, Daddy Voldemort himself, I mean, he is just perfect. He is both intimidating and hilarious. Funny Ray Fiennes is arguably the best Ray finds. Now, the ending might not work for some people. I mean, you know, typically with movies like this where you know, you know, it's kind of building and building and it gets crazier and crazier, like eight times out of 10, I feel like the ending will let people down. I can see that being the case for some people. For me, I thought it worked and honestly, I thought it was pretty hilarious too. I don't wanna hype this up too much because I'm sure it did help going into that screening with moderate expectations and not looking at it like, you know, maybe subconsciously, like you know that this isn't really like an Oscar play or anything like that, which a lot of TIFF movies strive to be. So maybe that's why I ended up loving it so much, but honestly, I just think this is a damn good movie and I hope everyone checks it out. The menu, four and a half stars. Just awesome, just a delight. What, what a treat. That was almost felt like a good palate cleanser for Tiff. Seeing all these serious movies and then seeing the menu just kick ass. That, that was so good. What am I going to have for dinner tonight? <laughs>